Here is a photo book that I made and gave as a gift to the cast and crew while we were making The Big Lebowski. This is a uh, photo book uh, made with a wide lux camera, which is um, kind of unique. It's a panning still camera, and it gives you photographs kind of like this. There's a lot of information on there, you know. This is, that's probably about the actual frame of the, the wide lux. One of the things I like about it is that you see the beautiful actress, dancer, Viking, uh, Julianne Moore here. And at the same time, you're able to see her dancing partner. Some are taking breaks. This is the, the dream sequence. She's really beautiful there, I think, don't you? Especially like her bowling balls. Uh, here's another shot of Julianne and the bowling pin Corins, we call them. Here is a picture of Jack Keller, the dude's landlord. Uh, this is also the, I use this photograph as the cover of my album called Be Here Soon. It's available on iTunes. <laughs> Here we are at, um, what the hell is the name of that restaurant? It's in Santa Monica. It's a uh, wonderful delicatessen, the Broadway Deli. And this is the, my first meeting with Joel and Ethan. And there, I asked them, do you mind if I take your picture? And you can see Joel is there. <laughs> he looks a little concerned. But uh, if you look closely, you can see all the miniature Santa stockings. It was Christmas time that are in the background there. And uh, Jeff Dowd who is a model that Joel and Ethan used for the dude. And he's there joining us. Now here is our first read through. And at this time, you can see a drawing here. And what it says there is, who is the big Lebowski? Maybe that's a sign that they left on there after they had cast David. But uh, there's David Huddleston there. It was great working with him. We'd worked together in a movie called the bad company years before. Here's a shot of uh, Joel and Ethan trying to uh, figure out how I'm not going to break my teeth when my head is shoved in the toilet bowl. I really appreciated their concern. There's Ethan in repose, lounging. Here's our first day of shooting, and that was at the car lot. And the most memorable line from that scene I remember is, Leeds, Leeds. <laughs> uh, there are the two boys. There's Ethan over there chewing on an apple. Here are the bowlers. You can see Jeff the dude Dowd included in there. There's Joel and Ethan on a typical day in the bowling alley. This is uh, some of the, uh, this is the, uh, the team that was bowling against us. This fella here is Jimmy Dale Gilmore. He plays Smokey back here. Wonderful country singer. We did a lot of picking on the movie and that was a lot of fun. Here's uh, the wonderful Sam Elliott. who played the stranger. It's a shot of us together there in the bowling alley. It was always wonderful to work with Sam. Now this fellow, Barry Asher, he was hired to teach us how to bowl. He's a wonderful bowler, and uh, you never see the dude bowling, actually. Here's a shot of John taking some direction from a bowling ball. Or maybe it's that fan that you dry your hands on, I'm not sure. Here's another shot of John Goodman. Here's a shot of Steve Buscemi welcoming John Turturro. This is John's first day on the set. Moments after this shot was taken, he French kissed the bowling ball, much to all of our enjoyment. Jesus hurls. Here's a shot of John showing his great form. Here he is talking to Ethan, making a point about how he's going to play the scene. Oh, here's my stand-in, Lloyd Catlett. We've done about 50 movies together, and this is a shot of us uh, hanging out in the trailer picking with Jimmy Dale. 
smoky. Here are some of the uh, beautiful uh, women that worked on our show. We're sitting there. You can see the Ben-Hur auto repair sign behind, behind that girl's head. More guys. Here's a bowling ball. Oh, this is, uh, this is as Steve picks his ear while Peter holds his arm in front of the bowling alley with those beautiful stars. Here's a shot of Tara Reed, who's getting painted. She's uh, the lady who offers to do the blowjob for a thousand dollars, and uh, he runs off to uh, see if we can find a cash machine. <laughs> ah, Flea, Torsten, and Peter prepare to drop the marmot here with the, this shot here. Here's. Ethan and Mark contemplating the bowling ball that's about to be dropped. Obviously, he's never played golf. Here's stuntmen. Vince Dedrick, who has been my stunt guy in quite a few movies. And Jerry Hewitt there. Here's a shot of Joel and Ethan uh, lining up a shot with Roger Deakins, who did such a brilliant job. This is uh, the scene, I think, where the dude meets the big Lebowski, David Huddleston. I think probably they're lining up the shot here, it looks like, where the dude is going to look and see his reflection in that mirror Time magazine thing, you know, where he looks up there and sees he's man of the year. Here is uh, Autobahn, the shooting of the cover for the groundbreaking album Nagelbet. Here's Ethan lining up the boys. A lot goes into making a movie, you know. Shoot me album cover for the, the, the album that I'm going to find in Maud's place. You know, that's some detailed stuff, man. Here's the big Lebowski. Here's David Huddleston here. Getting something out of his pocket, it looks like. Here's the beautiful Julianne Moore being made up by Gene Black, makeup artist. Our first AD, Jeff Raffner looks on. Now see this painting? This was in Maud's house. The brothers gave me that painting as a gift, so I have that hanging in my workout room at home, actually. Beautiful thing. Uh, here's another shot of Lloyd Catlett, my stand-in. I brought here. He's hanging in for me here. This was our 32nd movie at the time. This is the scene where I'm flying you know, through the air in the dream sequence. I got the bowling ball there. Ah, this is a picture. It's very, it's a weird picture. It's not very good, but I wanted to include it because it would remind me of the moment. Peter Chesney supervises the fitting of my body cast. And you can, it's very small. You can see me in the mirror here holding the camera. They made a whole cast of my body to support me while I'm flying through the air. And I, you know, that's, that's how they did that. So that's me getting this cast made. Uh, here's Joel in the set where Arthur Digby Sellers is in his iron lung. There he is. Beautiful set design through the whole movie. You can see him arranging. I can't. Know, I don't know who this person is, but they're they're getting so you can see um, Arthur Digby Sellers in his iron lung with this mirror there. I don't know if that's ever in the movie. If you ever see his face in the movie or not, but that was one thought at one point. Here's Daniel Curret painting Ben Gazzaro, who played Jackie Treehorn. Wonderful job. I loved working with Ben. Always admired his work. Here's makeup guys. Daniel and Eddie Henriquez here. He's done a lot of movies together. Uh, here, John spits Peter's ear into the sky. This is when Walter bites off this guy's ear, spits it into the sky. Here, this shot is Joel and Ethan enjoy Peter's ear being reloaded into John's mouth. You have to do this scene several times. Then her auto repair sign is well lit in the back. Very detailed. The Cohen brothers, you know, one of the things that makes their uh, movie so entertaining, I think, for me, is their attention to detail, you know, they're really into all those little, little deals. 
Here's a shot of John Polito, who played Dufino, the private dick. He says here, uh, Dufino is searching for Bunny. She's been kidnapped. He's holding up photographs of her parents' farm in Moorhead, Minnesota, not far away from Fargo, North Dakota, where my wife, Sue, was raised. It's not unusual that a Coen Brothers films film involves kidnapping. Who knows? A lot of their films involve kidnapping. Here's a shot of Jeff the Dude Dowd and me, Jeff the Dude Bridges. Mr. Dowd was a role model for my character, Jeff the Dude Lebowski. Here he is captured on film visiting the set, giving us his blessing. Oh, here's a shot of the big Lebowski being hurled to the floor. Here's in the next page, Ethan directed as well. Sometimes you know, people don't think that Ethan gets in there to direct, but here he is seen attempting to experience what Bugsy, Walter's dog, might be feeling in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a set up thing, but no, he actually, he actually did that. That's, there's no tongue in any of the cheeks in this shot. They're all this serious men at work. Look how serious all of the guys are there. Roger Deakins looks very serious, slightly impatient, but he's putting up with the director's needs. Here's something I like to do with this camera. This is a good example of it. I have quite a few actors photographed like this in the classic Greek uh, tragedia, comedia masks. Here's Philip Seymour Hoffman, and that's all on one negative. And because of the nature of the shutter on my camera, which actually pans, I can include a double image like this on one negative. Here's a shot over here of David Huddleston doing the same tragedy and comedy. <laughs> Here's a shot of T-Bone Burnett looking into his own mouth. <laughs> T-Bone's an old friend. I met him on Heaven's Gate, and we've been friends ever since. And it was very exciting for me to learn that he was going to be the music supervisor on Lebowski, and it's a wonderful album, as those of you who have it know. Got some great songs in the big Lebowski. Here's another comedy tragedy of David Thewlis, The Laughing Man. Very good face. Oh, here's a picture of Jack Keller. This is one of my favorite scenes, is his wonderful dance performance. We go to his dance recital, and here he is discussing with Bill and Jackie Landrum his very emotional performance, it says. Here's Jack, and this is his very emotional performance. And here we have me, the dude, and the girls of my dream. I somehow worked my way into their dressing room here and got a picture of that, and putting on their bowling pin hats. I scored one of those. I have a bowling pin hat, actually. My girls enjoy wearing that on Halloween. Oh, there they are now. This is my wife, Sue, and my daughters, Is Hay and Jess. They visit the set and don bowling pin hats. And Mary Zofries here and Pam, her assistant, are dressing the bowling pin Corins, putting their helmets on. Here's Bill and Jackie, our choreographers. They're choreographing the dance. A Busby Berkeley type bowling pin flower is executed here. Bowling pin Corinne's take five. Those hats were kind of a pain in the ass, I think. Oh, there they are, just chilling out. And here's me and my girls. God, look at that picture. You know, that's the thing about kids, they really let you know how fast everything goes by. They're all in their mid-twenties now. Look at them, they look like little girls, my God. And Andy pulls focus on Maude and the Corins. This shot here, you can see this guy, he's very dimly lit, but that's one of the most critical jobs making movies is the focus puller. You know, you could be doing all kinds of great work and the film comes back and it's out of focus, it's no good, you know. So these guys don't get heralded too much Here's a shot that's very much like the cover. Maud as Bowling Valkyrie Goddess. And the thing I like about this photograph, I don't know if you can see it here on this side, both of the sides, you can see these girls lying down. Can you see that? And then you pan on the other side and you can see them lying down on the other side. They're taking five while Julianne's working out her moves. Oh, Julianne Moore, she's such a beauty. 
Oh, here's an interesting shot. <laughs> and uh, what happened here, I'll just read the copy of the thing. It says, as part of the dream sequence, the dude was required to glide between the legs of the bowling pin Corinne's and look up their skirts. To ease the tension, I asked if I could take a picture of this event. A Corinne winked and said, by all means, dude, here is the picture right here. As I looked up, I found each pubic patch more ornate than the next. They had stuffed huge clumps of crepe hair in their leotards. We all had a good laugh. This is me walking, walking, <laughs> walking to the, the place. Here's a shot of Julianne without her horns on. Here's Joel demonstrating the proper way to hold a trident. Here is my manager and dear friend Neil Koningsberg visiting the set. And in the background, you can see these disembodied legs here. This was used for one of the shots. It's kind of a bizarre image. Here we have another shot of the bowling pin Corinne's resting between shots. Here are the shot of the brothers. This was the day where we cast Donnie's ashes to the wind. Here's another shot of that spot. And this is a shot of the bowling alley with a little tweaking on each edge. You know, as the camera pans like this, you know, it's a very forgiving camera. You can hold it, uh, you can take a shot at 15th of a second, which is kind of tough with normal still cameras. And with this particular camera, uh, 15th of a second is about this long. So you have that much time to jack with the image, you know. So now on this image, you can see, see I moved the camera a little here, stayed still for this one, and then moved it a little bit on that side, and that's how you get that effect. And that is my photographic book from The Big Lebowski.